Hi Sheiksters, hi Queens. Hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is gonna be a Target haul. Now it's been a while since I did a Target haul, but I feel like, like I've lucked out with some good pieces. So I'm super excited to share them with you. <laughs> excited for this Target haul, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, my name is Chi Chi. I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you love hauls, if you love like styling videos, then sis, you found your family. Welcome. All right, without further ado, let's get into this video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end though, because you don't want to miss any of this good, good, okay? None of it. So I love a good kimono during the summertime because I feel like they are multifunctional. Like they serve as the perfect third piece to a basic outfit, but you can also wear them as cover up at the pool or the beach. And if you're someone who's a little self-conscious about your arms, they are also lightweight enough to layer on top whatever you're wearing. So your tinks and things like that. So I spotted this kimono and I knew that it had potential and I styled it for you guys two ways. Okay, so the first way was just to like layer it over a tank and some shorts. The shorts are from Target as well, as well as the shoes, okay? So this is almost like a full Target outfit. And that's because I put together this look for the collaboration that I'm doing with Target on Instagram. If you know me, you know how much I love Target. I live in Target, I swear by Target. So the fact that I get to collaborate with them is such a blessing. And honestly, it's thanks to you guys, like your support is what makes so much of what I do possible. So I just wanted to shout y'all out, okay? I just wanted to shout y'all out, all right? So the first way I decided to style this is to layer this kimono on top of a tank and a pair of shorts, right? This is a super easy outfit, perfect for weekend barbecues, vacation by the beach, you name it. It's super easy, I think. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it. Speaking of layering it with a tank on shorts, these shorts are also from Target. I'm wearing them in a size 20. And for me, what attracted me to it was of course the paper bag waist. You guys know like, sis, I am the queen of the paper bag waist. You can't tell me anything. I just feel like it's really flattering on my body type. And if you have something similar to mine, it will because it kind of brings your eyes to the smallest point of my body, which is my waist. And then of course I get to cinch it which means I don't have to deal with like the whole, you know, my the waist being too big because of my hips um, um, situation. So definitely if you have not tried paper bag shorts, I recommend them if you have a similar body type to mine. I'm wearing those shorts in a size 20 for reference and they do have a little bit of stretch to them if you're wondering. So I always size up for shorts, that's my hack. So if you are, you know, well endowed in the hip and butt region, size up sis. I promise you they will fit a lot better. Now these shorts did not pass the shimmy test. I'm just gonna call them the shimmy test. You know, when you walk around and your thighs rub and then it's like your thighs basically just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, basically just like envelop, swallow the shorts and they end up all up in your goodies. Well, <laughs> they, these shorts on me did not pass that test. They did kind of go in and I did have to pull them out. Now, if that really bothers you, then I wouldn't recommend these shorts for you. Again, I am 5'7 for height reference and all of my stats, my height, my measurements, all of that is in the description box. It's always there for your reference. And so um, you may wanna check it because if you're a little bit shorter, it's gonna fit. But what I realized from you know buying different lengths of shorts, I think the seven inch is actually the perfect inch for me and my height. If you're shorter, you probably don't need a seven inch, maybe a five inch, and depending on how short you are, even maybe like a three inch, okay? So let's move on to the next item, right? While we're on shorts, you will notice that I purchased quite a few pairs of shorts. And this haul is all about those summer must have tanks, tees, shorts, white dresses, summer dresses, etc., etc. So all those basics, we're covering them in this haul. And the best part is that all these items are priced really well. So if you're looking to kind of, you know, add some more fun pieces 
pieces to your wardrobe. I love the fact that Target is size inclusive. A ton of the stuff that you find in regular, you can find in plus, and it just, it, you don't know how it makes my heart happy, okay? Because I remember what 10 years ago was like. So anyways, the next item is gonna be a pair of, and I'm holding it the wrong way, and if you're wondering why this stringy thing is on, I promise you I will tell you in a second, is going to be these high-waisted Bermuda, Bermuda, Bermuda <laughs> style shorts. Okay, I have been on the hunt. If you watched my Walmart haul, you will remember that I was talking about being on the hunt for the perfect pair of like Bermuda. Like I didn't want it to fit tight. I wanted it to fit kind of loose. And we had a whole conversation about that in that video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it for you guys. Um, I felt like I found some really good gems from Walmart in that video. So if you like this one, you will definitely like that one. And so I feel like I found the shape I'm looking for in these shorts. The waist is much bigger than my waist because I have to size up, size up two sizes. So I got a size 24 and I think that was my mistake. I think that was by mistake, or maybe that was the only size left. I can't, because these shorts sell out so quickly, okay? So if you want them, sis, check that link, because they sell out so quickly. And with 4th of July around the corner, like, they, may, they you need a pair of shorts like this in your life. Anyways, I realized that I like my shorts to hit me fingertip length, okay? They hit me fingertip length. I like the fact that they are distressed, um, not distressed, but they have a raw hem, so they're gonna like fray and get kind of worn in. I love that look. Even the wash is not bad. A lot of times when you um, shop for denim in like, um, you know, mid to low points, the wash is always like so questionable but the wash on these are not bad at all. It's kind of subtle. It's almost kind of like on a beigey type um, vibe. And I like that. But again, I had to do the TikTok waist trick in order to get it to like kind of cinch. The only problem though is that when I cinch it, it just gives me crazy camel toe. Like you can't win, you can't win, <laughs> you can't win. But I really like these shorts overall. The weight of them, the wash of them, the style of them definitely would give the shorts an eight out of 10. Now, if I could get rid of that camel toe, then they would be a 10 out of 10, hands down. So the next item is going to be this gorgeous green dress, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> um, I had this like mustard yellow dress that I absolutely love and I shared on Instagram like earlier in a campaign that I did with DSW and I got so many, um, well, let me not exaggerate, but I got quite a few, you know, requests or inquiries about the dress. Sadly, it was sold out because it was from H&M from last year. I don't know, but I need to go on with H&M, H&M, H&M be having them gems, but they don't last, sis. So if you see anything at H&M, <laughs> grab it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say because I've missed out on like two things that I really wanted and I'm kind of salty on that. But anyways, um, so I found this dress as a dupe for that dress. Now the dress has some interesting details. It has this like smocking situation that happens around the neck. I could do without that detail if I'm being honest. But for me, it was the shape that sold me. As you can see, I actually styled it with a denim jacket and then um, just a pair of sneakers, just a perfect look for running errands on the weekends. Um, for hanging out with friends, you know, just casual, quintessential, casual summer look. So let me know your thoughts in the description. Is this an adequate dupe for the yellow dress? And uh, what do you think, right? Rate her, I wanna know, what do you think? Okay, <laughs> do you like how I styled her? Would you dress her up? Or yeah, I, I wanna know your thoughts on this dress. Cause that neck is kind of, you know, was kind of bothering me. I was like, is it worth keeping? All right, continuing on with dresses, the next dress is going to be this white dress. Let me first of all say, okay, let me first of all say that it is so hard to find a white dress in the summer with sleeves, like adequate sleeves. Okay, so this dress not only has sleeves, it's made out of this like eyelet detail that looks very expensive in my opinion. I could totally see a dress like this in like White House black market, okay? And for like 100, 150, 200, 300, well maybe not 300, but 150 to $200. And this is from Target, like so good, right? You can wear this to like a christening, 
you know, you can wear this to work even. Like, you, it's a really pretty dress. One of my um, blogger pals actually styled this with her mom for Mother's Day. And it was the cutest. Like, it was so cute. So, it's one of those dresses that just gives me airy, ethereal, cottage core vibes. And I love it, okay? So, I'm wearing this dress in a size 18. The only thing I'm gonna say is that the dress has no stretch. It's a cotton fabric. I love the fact that it has the eyelet detail because it's breathable, it lets some air, some circulation in there. I like the fact that it's a fit and flare and it cuts right at the top part, right before your belly button, which is such a flattering area. Now it does not come with a belt. I did cinch it in with a belt that I own. And somebody asked me a question about how to wear belts when you have a belly. To me, the best way to wear belts when you have a belly is really to put the belt on that smallest point. It's the area between under your bust and the top of your belly button. That is the place where a belt would suit you the best. Now, if you're talking about wearing a belt with pants, again, we talked about the fact that high-waisted looks better on most women, not all women with bellies. It really runs the gamut. If you have a short waist, if you have a long waist, wear a mid to high rise is always gonna be a better look for you. But again, if you go too high, then you start looking like you're pregnant. So you kind of have to play around with that to figure out what's the best point on your body. So if you wear a high waist bottom, then you just, you know, put on the belt where it naturally goes, right? However, if that doesn't really work, one tip I can give you is to do the half tuck. So if you wanna wear a belt, but if you feel like it makes you look wider or makes the circumference of your belly more prominent, then I would do the half tuck. So I would let some of my shirt, I would tuck just a part of my shirt in and let the other half of my shirt out. And hopefully I can include something for you so you can see what I'm talking about. And then so, you know, it kind of cuts into that circumference so it doesn't look as wide. All right, I totally went on a tangent. But yes, yeah, so I paired the dress with a belt to further cinch in my waist and I think that really nailed the dress. It has a keyhole um, in the back, so no zippers. You have to put it on over your head. And it also has pockets. I forgot to mention that. Pockets, pockets, pockets. The dress just ticks all the boxes for me and it's such a find. Okay, all right. If you hear all this chatter and noise, there's nothing I can do about this. <laughs> like the neighbors, people, like everybody's just, mm, okay. All right, so continuing on with summer basics, I picked up another pair of paper bag shorts. Y'all, I can't help it, it's an addiction. I really drawn to tailored paper bag shorts and right now Target has a nice assortment in both regular and plus, okay? Like white, black, pink, green, you name it. I wish they would come up with one in mustard. Like, oh my God, that would be the fastest add to cart that has ever happened, right? So I picked up this pink pair. So here's the thing, right? I really like it, but like I have it in white, I have it in brown, I have it in black. What other color do I have it in? I feel like I have it in another color, right? I have, I have these shorts in so many different colors now. Yeah, so I would love your thoughts on whether I should keep these shorts or return them, okay? All right, so for styling, I decided to pair them with this like blush pink, sort of like eyelet, I, I'm gonna call this a summer sweater. Like if I was going to dinner or, yeah, probably to dinner because it's like a, a summer sweater or just somewhere where I wanted to look a little bit more dressed up but I also wanted to be comfortable. So that's where I would probably wear this outfit. Of course, I threw on my handy dandy trusty Claire mules. Like these mules are literally the shoe of the summer for me. They are so convenient. It's not too high. It's not too uncomfortable. It goes with literally everything. If you haven't watched my summer shoe trends video, then definitely check out that video because I did link to the like to know it post where these shoes are linked. Okay, and I probably will just link it in this video. Let me stop. Anyways, so yes, that's how I styled it. Let me know in the comments below how you would style these shorts. So now let's talk about some quick basics right here. My favorite, favorite tanks to get 
from Target are these high neck tanks like so that are ribbed. To me, they wash well and they last actually. Um, I have some that I got last year that I still, I'm still rocking this year. And I love like all the details on the stitching and around the arm. This is a very flattering style if you have smaller shoulders like I do. And I like the fact that it's cut high so I don't have to worry about too much cleavage. And also so that I can layer all of my necklaces. I feel like it just creates the perfect canvas. And of course I had to get some additional colors so I re-upped on my white because you cannot have enough of these white tanks and normally they do a deal where it's like two for a certain amount I can't remember like maybe two for 14 or two for 12 and I think that's a pretty good deal I wear an extra extra large in these like stretchy tops and tees and speaking of that as you can see, I style them with the pink shorts and then I style with the green shorts as well. I I really like that monochrome look, especially these two colors. I think it looks really chic, really elevated. Let me know your thoughts on this look. And you know who put me on to these tanks? Kiki Cameron on Instagram. She was talking about them, raving about them. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I got them, I was like, okay, I see. Because if you buy these tanks in a bunch of different colors, literally it's the simplest way to kind of elevate your jeans a jean a tank like this some slides a hat a cute little handheld bag and an easy brunch it's a run to target it's even like if your church is casual like my church is it's a it's a Sunday service like it just looks really put together and there's just something about it that looks elevated it goes with midi skirts mini skirts shorts you know, it's a basic, you need it, okay? And in multiple colors, okay? All right, so I also picked up my favorite style of tees from Target and they do have quite a few styles. I really like this cuff sleeve style. If you have bigger arms, like I do, like my arms are big. I got the little extra part on the <laughs> behind, you know, the elbows. I got stretch marks. I got even like some, I don't even know what to call it. Say you like some, my hands are thick child. I got that from my mama. And so they're not really my favorite place to highlight, but I really like these tees because they cut in the most flattering point on your arm. I personally think, yeah, they're not like super short. That just highlights all of that. No, right at the perfect point. Now, if you do get these tees, I would say dry clean them. I would not wash them because I remember talking about how I love the way Target like makes their tees. I love the cut, I love the styles, but I just never had a good experience with washing them. So I would just dry clean them, get a couple that you can rotate and then you would dry clean and they'll maintain their shape. For me, the biggest issue is the neck, like the little, when I wash them, it gets like all squiggly, you know? That's a little detail that can kind of show the value of what you're wearing, right? So if y'all have any tips on how to make the neck not like squiggly like that, I'm here for it sis, I am here. Leave it in the comments. All right, so let's talk about some accessories, right? I feel like I mentioned these sunglasses in my summer haul video, but like to me, they are such a good deal and dupe that I had to mention them in this video. And these are these tortoiseshell sunglasses from our friends at Target. I mean y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like these sunglasses look mad expensive. I think they were like under 15, I think around 12, maybe less, don't quote me on it. But of course I will link them to you. Like I'm gonna insert this picture right here. Like you can't, do, do these sunglasses not look like something high end, something luxury to you? Just asking, asking for a friend. No, I'm joking. But to me, these are such a good find. Like I had this and another pair in my cart and I asked the lady at the checkout, I was like, which one do you prefer? And she was like, this one, hands down, sis. It's the rectangular frame for me that's very on trend right now. It's totally taking me back to the 90s, if I'm being honest. Like everything's just coming back from the 90s, right? I don't know how to feel about that. You know, does that mean that um I finally get to wear things that I used to love? What does that mean I'm getting old? I'm not sure what that means, but I love the look looks very high end and yeah I just feel like the turtle shell print just goes with so much so you can wear it with your blacks you can wear it with your browns your colors etc etc I love it I love it and then continuing on with the turtle shell obsession so I actually wanted to get these 
slides, which you guys have seen me style in a lot of the looks. Essentially, they did not have the clear version in my size. So I settled for this one because I felt like it would be close enough of a nude. It's like a brown tortoise shell detail. And you just, I feel like you, everyone just needs like a pair of slides or flats that pretty much go with everything during the summer. So if you want to wear with like bright colors, your pinks, your mustards, you know, your neons even, you can pair it with these slides. I was talking about that in the basics video where I was like, you need a bag that is a neutral so that you can wear it with everything. And you also need a pair of sandals that is a neutral. Now I sized up all the way to a size 12 in these because I find that um, Target shoes run narrow and I was right. So I do have like a teeny bit of space in the back, but not that much. And I would prefer to have that space than this feeling snug. So of course I'm going to link these for you in the description box down below. And if you're on mobile, all you have to do is click the down arrow on your right hand side and all the things will be there. My sizing, my measurements, links to shop my outfits, details on my favorite, like my go-to makeup, lipstick, earrings, all that good stuff. If the item is not directly linked in the description box, you can look for the link that says shop my outfits and you can check there. If you download the app, you can actually search for whatever you're looking for. So sometimes, you know, I pull out of my closet for these videos. Some things are brand new, some things I've had for a while, but I typically link everything on that app. So if you're looking for something, you download the app, you can search for what you're looking for. Now, if you don't find it there after searching, then totally you can DM me. The reason why I'm saying all of this is because YouTube limits the amount of characters we can put in the description of the video. So I've started just linking, consolidating everything in one place and then linking to that for you. I hope that made sense. And the good thing about that app is that I'm not the only one who uses it. All of your favorite influencers use that app. So you, well, the ones that want to share what they're wearing. <laughs> so anything that I link from outfits to makeup to even like home decor, it's all on that app for you. Okay. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that like button and lets me know that you want me to make more haul videos just like this. Speaking of more, I have a H&M haul coming up, a misguided haul coming up, a nasty gal haul coming up, a boohoo haul coming up. So if you like haul, sis, and you are not subscribed, girl, you don't wanna miss those videos. All you have to do is subscribe now and turn on those notification bells so you don't miss when those hauls pop up on my channel. So. When I'm not on YouTube, sis, you can always find me on Instagram. I share daily-ish fashion and style inspiration. Sis, I always do unboxing, so as soon as this stuff come in, I share it there, or at least a sneak peek of it there. And yeah, if you have like burning questions, like right, like maybe you're about to check out and you don't know about sizing or fit, you can always catch me in real time on Instagram. So yes, I would love for you to join our IG family as well. Well, speaking of like daily outfit and style inspiration, make sure you're part of the newsletter fam sis because of the summer look book. 20 plus outfit ideas curated just for you. It's completely free and that's only for the newsletter family. So make sure you sign up because it'll be delivered straight to your inbox. Okay, I mean, white glove service. <laughs> sis, I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'll be down in the comments down below. Come on, come join the conversation. When you're done, check out this video and I'm sure you will enjoy this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. Until next time, stay blessed.